when I discuss rights, I'm talking about my rights to the freedom of my movement in society. It is not your right to take private information that belongs to me in medical records and other things that are pissing me off today and taking that around the community. It's not your right to presume my sexuality because at any moment of time, it's true, the hottest thing on the planet could walk in front of me and say, hey you, you're a handsome little furry dude, I'd like to do you. But the reality is I'm interested in women. Intelligent, beautiful, marvelous, tall, thin, and predominantly right now blonde women. I've had my play with a brunette. I've done my thing with the Japanese, but the next woman God planned for me is blonde. No offense to you brunettes, love you just the same, but most of you don't play for me right now. Do you understand me? What I mean is that every human being has the right to profess what they like, what they want, who they love, but in my man's mind, the kind of man I have become with my father's tutelage, that a man is a gentleman first and foremost. But when you try to play in front of me with your white trash attitude about you can play any man with sex, you're out of your fucking mind. Not only are we in a time of still AIDS epidemic, still moving its way through America in foolish ways because blazy black bastards of Satan won't put on a condom to play with me or you or whatever the hell you're into, and I'm not into that. But openly, what I'm saying to you is honest and true, that we're in a time of pandemic. We're in a time of epidemic. We have allegedly COVID, which might be two or three different types of missions of the government to first get everybody into a medical system so they can have all the data so they can produce an Aryan race. Now, that, of course, is not truthful. But, hey, Hitler once tried to do that, and we finally eradicated him. At the same time, we could have aliens in the sky that are monstrously looking, that could have been in some of our films if they were a decent guy, and openly showing us what aliens look like so that we don't freak out if we ever see one in the sky or in our streets, hopefully not eating you and me, but maybe we're getting this shot from COVID to protect us from those type of things that could eat us and devour us, and maybe that prevents them from coming to us. I don't know. Now, that's just a little bit of conspiracy theory. So is the first one. The third one is that the truth is that the American government is trying to force us into a medical rights system so that they know every motherfucking thing about our illnesses, our disease, and they can either eradicate the disease by focusing the numbers, the data of how many people have this illness and really figure out where their scientists should be focusing their efforts. At the same time, they have to look at food production, and what's happening in our food. I know for me, there's certain foods, as much as I like it going down, my body doesn't like it coming out. And as a result, I know how to handle me. Now, when I talk about these things, I'm talking about rights, of course. I'm talking about the right to say no to you in your approach of trying to give me money. It gives you the right to financially abuse me. Financial abuse is something that people in the black community, in the white community, in the Catholic community like to do. Their attitude is, if I'm going to do this to you, I'm going to pay you a penance. I'm going to pay you a token. And that's not how we handle things in America. That is a form of legally, lawfully, federally protected, not at all, abuse. You don't have the right to make and imply someone's a slave to you because you gave them something and then you want to make up what that negotiation is. That's illegal. It's highly immoral and it's absolutely fraud. You're being presumptive about your rights to that person. The biggest issue that failed us in our last election and that will fail us going forward every single day in your life and mine is the failure to recognize rights. Rights are what we're talking about here. Rights is what we need to be with, with in every way. My rights to me, my physical being, my health care, my spirituality, my body, my genitalia, my sexual orientation, whatever that is for me, is no different for you. If you don't want me moving myself into your bedroom telling you how to make yourself function, how to do all these things that don't interfere with my rights, and that means any group in America. We have American men who have wives, children, and then and again trying to tell a totally stranger to them, female or male, what they have to do with their bodies. Now, practically, there's common sense. And the common sense is if you're going to play today, you're going to wear a condom today, you're going to wear something to protect yourself. Because we are in a major time of illnesses all around. Even the flu season gets people down. But openly, we also have people that don't abide animal rights. Somebody slaughtered one of my family family geese over there and I'm trying to figure out who was the monster that did that because what we know about monsters as children is that they kill things and they get more and more hyped up on the vanity and the violence and the codependency of killing things and eventually they move themselves up to human beings. We can't have that here. 
The problem and the benefit of video games has been known across the America. Even when I was in a psychology class in college, I remember them talking, telling us about the study, and I think we participated in some of how do you feel after watching all this violence on TV? Well, you become a little bit more numb to it. It becomes a little bit more real. If you're seeing black people abuse their children in front of everyone in the community, you're looking at that black child going, I'm sorry for you. I really am. Your parent didn't buy, buy a fucking book on how to be a parent to you. That's not my fault. That's their fault. But openly, I'm not picking on any particular community because there is violence across every color, every nation, every time, every world person that's available to us. But we have to decide as an America. We have to decide like in the Enterprise of Star Trek, which was a great film produced by Roddenberry and his family of legacy, that what they're saying is there's all kinds of colors out there and we got to learn to be at peace with them. And that we have war. and We have war for economy. We have war for food. We have war for these things. But we have to understand what's the most important to people in life. Self-actualization. Self-actualization says who I am is my right to decide, not your rights to imply.